Hey YouTube, welcome. This is Tana, and you are watching Tana's Canvas. Uh, welcome to another vlog. Today's vlog is uh, mainly focused on the second service of my Honda Highness V350 and the issues I'm facing currently on my bike and overall uh, issues which as you know which most of the honda cv350 owners are uh, facing nowadays so this is the condition as of now i'm extremely sorry this is very dirty and muddy because of the reason it's been raining almost every day in kolkata i'm not sure whether you can see yeah, i've clocked 4324 kilometers there are mainly three issues one is uh, i have to change this uh, rvm left side rvm it has got cracked uh, if you remember if you have seen my north bengal cities i had a fall there in rishab uh, it happened there so i need to change this one and i need to uh, inform the service center guys about the rusting issues yeah that's true and i think it is very evident now not only me uh, most of the highness owners are uh, facing this it's highly unacceptable i mean i never thought that i'll be talking about these things these negative points uh, even in my second service video it's not even six months completed it's only five months old bike and few of the owners even have the rusting issues within three months of their purchase from the date of purchase so it's uh, really sad i i uh, being a proud owner of honda hynx 350 it really takes a lot of pain for me to talk about this but this is the fact this kind of quality issues i never expected in fact none of the highness owners have expected actually because uh, uh, i have followed almost every video available in the youtube before buying this product because by the time i bought this bike it was already one year and Till then, I never found any such videos uh, talking about the rusting issues or the paint quality or something like that. But this is actually happening. I'm not sure what, what's wrong with uh, Honda. Maybe uh, the first lot of those bikes were very good and then the quality started deteriorating. <laughs> I'm not sure. You know, Honda management has to take care of that. And the management has to uh, you know, acknowledge these things and take care of the issues. So uh, I'll show you what, uh, where I got the rusting issues. However, you won't be able to see it now because I've already used the spray paint. So as a as a precaution, I have used that uh, black spray paint. So here it's very dirty now. I am sure you won't be able to uh, see it. But in this part, I got rust. Similarly this part i got rushed and most importantly here here also i have used this black paint here also i got the rusting issues okay now the most <laughs> important uh, point which you know it's really funny and surprising you know i i never thought this kind of thing also can happen which is this you can see this <laughs> the color of the logo itself it started peeling off if you see properly this part is not even touched by your uh, riding pant or jeans uh, i mean uh, when you sit your leg is like this right this part is not even touched i don't know how even you cannot find any scratch over there so I don't know how this can happen. So this is the quality of the paint. And uh, not only me, in our uh, highness owners group, I have found many of the users have found got the same issue. So uh, these are the major uh, three things we uh, for my bike. So anyways, let's go. I'm already late. Uh, it's 8.30. Uh, well, I'm supposed to reach there by nine but yeah it will take at least an hour to reach there so anyways what i was talking about is that uh, though i don't have uh, much issues currently uh, as of now standing at the time of second service in my bike but the number one issue 
what most of the highness owners are facing is rusting i've already showed you the area where i personally uh, found rusting issues uh, many of the highness owners have found rusting issues the areas like this uh, fuel cap handlebar area and other nuts and bolts near to engine and the chassis i believe service center guys and honda management must have heard about it but no as of now no such acknowledgement has been done from uh, the honda management the second major issue is the battery the battery of the honda hiness is provided by tata not successful i would say because even in kolkata by now we have come across so many cases and almost on a daily basis every day when we open our group when we talk about those uh, some of the other owner is facing some kind of issues with their battery either uh, suddenly the all the electrical components uh, of this bike is uh, getting switched off is not getting connected or the ignition is not happening as you know this bike doesn't have any uh, kick start so we have to solely rely on the battery and at times after the rain or maybe a, after the bike wash uh the owners uh, started getting the battery issues fortunately i haven't faced it yet but i'm really scared that maybe any moment i can face that same issue and this is very frustrating because just imagine you are in city riding this bike and suddenly you got this kind of issue that your bike is not getting started if you call rsa probably you will be getting that service comparatively faster but imagine you are out in the highway going somewhere or going for a trip <coughs> then you face this first of all this rsa has its own limit probably 300 kilometers or so from the service center and if you are out of that you don't have any kind of services from brand recently we have seen people who were even riding this bike in the city and they had to call rsa number 3 issue is the paint quality as i am facing i have found other owners as well in fact i have posted this to uh, facebook owners group as well i have found too many responses that many of the users are facing this issue that the color of the highness logo is peeling off i mean how ridiculous it is you are as a brand you are boasting about the quality of the bike and then <laughs> the color of your logo itself is peeling off that too within few months and that area that area is not even you know touched whenever you ride your bike so i don't know what kind of paint quality honda has provided there okay another major issue is wobbling many of the honda hiners owners uh, are facing this issue wobbling of the handlebar and i mean tremendous wobbling recently i have seen a video in youtube where uh, the rider is riding with a motor blogging setup like me and it's clearly visible like it is horrible so i fortunately don't have that issue in my bike but uh, that is one major issue uh, Uh, owners are facing so anyways i have reached uh, the service center 
so let's see problem bolte sherokom kichu nay major issue hocche first of all eta eta ki obostha go quality er ekhon ja group e asche to matha kharap hoye jacche thik ache eta issue ha rvm ta crack ache eta change korbo ekta change hoy to ha ei left rvm ta change korbo heating issue ta prochondo hocche tumi dekho ekhane hat diye dekho eto ta chali eschi to ha ei je chali eschi dekho in fact ei panel gulo gorom hoye geche এইখানগুলো পুরো তো হিট হয়ে আসছে আর লাস্টিংও শুরু হয়ে গেছে এইগুলো আমি এখন আর তোমাকে দেখাতে পারবো না বিকজ আমার আসতে দেরি হতো বলে আমি ওই স্প্রে পেন্ট ইউজ করেছি রিমুভ ইয়ে করার জন্য প্রিভেন্ট করার জন্য এইখানে হয়েছিল সেম এইদিকে হয়েছিল আর চেসিজের একদম নিচে এই জায়গাটাতে এই জায়গাটাতে অল রাইট It's 12.57 My servicing is done oh, oh, oh. The bike is running even smoother So anyways uh, I've almost reached home Let's talk about my experience of second service And the parts, components, whichever have been changed and the most important part is the bill so let's talk about that after reaching home okay all right so i've reached and this is how my honda inis is looking after the second service it's cleaned and back to its glory so this time i specifically mentioned the uh, guy who polishes the bike to uh, rub it well last time in first service what happened now uh, they use the wax but uh, the the buffing was not properly done so that is the reason it was uh, not looking glossy it was kind of haze uh, but this time yeah they have done a comparatively better work first thing the rvm yeah uh, i have changed the left rvm they have given a, a new rvm to me the most important part is that see antenna <laughs> so this badging is also changed has also been changed by them first uh, when i uh, mentioned about this uh, they said that sir you need to keep that bike for at least for one or two days we'll uh, send it to the factory in the, i mean in terms of replacement uh, under warranty uh, it needs to be replaced and it will take some time one or two days then it will be uh, they will be sending this to factory and then it will come back however then they found that there is a uh, this particular badge was available to them so they just removed it and placed it here so they basically replaced this entire badge including this chrome part informed them about the uh, rusting issues in uh, small small areas so they have acknowledged this fact and they have uh used uh, you know wd40 kind of thing rust removal uh, sprays and then if uh, the paint is removed then they have uh, done the touch up as well when i mentioned this to uh, the service manager and the uh, guy who makes the job cut they both were helpful and they did the job unfortunately what had costed me most is that the front brake pads yeah my bike uh, was ridden only for 4347 kilometers and by then the front brake pad was gone so they showed me the brake pad it was completely uh, done actually no grooves were there it was completely plain yeah so that was unexpected i never thought i had to change the brake pads uh, within this kilometers though they have uh done almost everything whatever i have mentioned them i found the cleaning is not up to the mark yeah i can you can see if you, I'm, i'm not sure whether you can see it or not see this areas and all the mud dust are still there so the washing or cleaning is not done at least i am not satisfied with that as a new accessory i have bought this uh, seat cover provided by uh, or sold by Big Wing itself 
so this is uh, not uh, extra padding or something this is just a normal seat cover but it's a good looking one okay so now let's see the bill okay so this mirror component what i was talking about i have changed this mirror so they took the price of the mirror is 304.23 okay uh, engine well throttle they have used the bpc will one two liter that costed me uh, was you know uh, 12 13 each bottle okay now uh, washer maybe a washer uh, it for fuel or something like that it costed me 5.47 okay the seat cover it costed me 467 but these are the items without taxes so you can we can uh, assume what will be the amount it so element okay compared this is nothing but the uh, uh, health checkup done and uh, normally they uh, check up all the electrical components but if you ask for a report for that they charge something around 160 rupees so this is kind of uh, uh, you know surprising why only for the report they are charging uh, <laughs> that amount but that is what it is so disc pad it it it's showing it's 664.84 but it actually costed me more with taxes actually so now for the polishing they took 80 labor charge for fitment of uh, probably these brake pads and the mirror uh, in total they took 160 so the total bill costed me around 4047 so yeah i did not expect that much but unfortunately because of the uh, brake pad it costed me i mean close to thousand uh, since i have to replace this mirror i have to replace this brake pad and i have uh, purchase this seat cover so all this you know including all this the bill came up to 4047 so if you like this video if you find this video informative so please uh, hit the like button and you can share this video with your colleagues friends whomever you want to and at the same time you can also consider subscribing my channel that will definitely motivate me to create more content and uh, visit more and more places and create more informative videos so with that said thank you for watching take care and goodbye